All right, Cloverleaf Middle School. Uh, we are doing Zentangle. Uh, right now I've got my sixth grade class watching, so I'm kind of under a little pressure right now, and I've got a camera on me, so I gotta do this like correctly, live. Hi. Yeah, hello, yeah. Hi. That's gonna, yeah, Hi. there you go, you guys can see. Just, I, I wasn't lying to you, I actually do have like students that are watching me. Hi. Um, yeah, and I don't wanna mess up. Uh, so, and I, I should be pretty good, I've done this many times. Now, what we have a nice little white piece of paper uh, that we're gonna be using. Uh, before we get to the white piece of paper, I do have these Zentangle books. All right, and this is for everybody that's in here. Uh, if you run out of ideas, these Zentangle books are gonna really help you out uh, as far as getting ideas down. Uh, the next step though is after you um, feel comfortable with all the Zentangles that you've practiced uh, and the combinations that you put together, you're going to grab a white piece of paper. Now you have a choice, you know, you could go this way or you could go this way with it, landscape or portrait. Uh, what I, uh, I'm gonna do first though is I'm going to go and do uh, a circle. Okay, now the best way to do a circle is I'm gonna take my ruler and I'm gonna use a Sharpie for this. Um, actually, no, nah, I'm not gonna use a Sharpie. Uh, I'm gonna use a pencil. Okay, and what I'm doing right now is I'm taking a ruler and I am going from corner to corner. And this does uh, one really awesome thing is it finds the center of the paper, okay? So I know that you can't see it there, but I'm gonna put a little dot here Okay, so it finds that point there. Hopefully that you can see the black dot Barely. instead of the pencil. Barely, yeah, Barely. okay, thank you. Uh, and then the next step is, uh, how many people have used a compass before? Okay, a good amount of people. Now, how many people have used this type of compass before? No. No, nope. usually one or two. Okay, now, uh, it's a little bit different. Now, the old compasses that we had, they had the, um, you know, a little pointy end and they had it attached a pencil on the other end, you'd like spin it. Yeah, I find that to be very hard. Uh, so I, I like this compass, it's really simple and it makes things a lot easier. Uh, this compass is really uh, nice. Uh, you put uh, where I have the black dot, uh, the center of the paper, I'm gonna take this metal ring and I'm going to put it down right here. I then place my finger down and I hold it, okay, which is key. I mean, if you don't hold the compass right, it's gonna be like a, an amoeba shape. You don't want that. Uh, so what then what I do is I take, uh, I'm gonna take my marker here um, and I'm gonna put it in one of the holes here. And I am making a wonderful circle. All right. Oh. Okay. Oh, thank you. Yeah, for the slight, slight, slight applause. Uh, thanks. Okay. So. Um, okay. Okay. So now uh, the next thing is this: is uh, when we get to this next step. Okay. Now we have to break up the space because we want to um, have a lot of entangles on it. Uh, what I do is I kind of like do some zigzagged lines, some like wavy lines. Um, And we can all do this, correct? Yeah. yeah. It's really simple. Eight ish. It depends. Ish. Yeah, ish. Um, I actually, I'm going to put some cool little circles here. Now, they don't have to be perfect circles, um, but I'm just going to include some here. Okay, so then after I have put this together, and you just kind of want to just have it flow. Okay, so I have something that looks like this, all right? Then once you hit this step, it's time to zentangle. So you take all the techniques that you've learned and you start zentangling each one. Now the idea is about contrast, okay? What I mean by contrast is I would prefer one being a little darker value, okay, versus one against the one being lighter value, okay? And that all deals with the zentangles that you have. And you'll notice in some of these books that that's what they have, okay? So that's step one. Uh, for if you choose to do the circle one, all right? Um, and I think the circle one, and honestly, I've had some people make multiple circles on that and do uh, multiple entangled circles, which I think is pretty sweet. Uh, I do need another piece of paper, real quick. Gracias. Okay, so now the next one is this. Uh, uh, what you do is, real simple, I'm going to fold the paper, but I'm not going to really crease it, okay? I don't really want to crease it. Okay, I kind of want to just fold it like that, okay? It's not fully creased. I then I'm going to take my uh, ruler, because what you just did is you found the center of the paper. I'm going to make a vertical line, like so, okay? And now that I have a vertical line on here, I'm going to take a stencil, okay? So I, I chose the gecko, or the lizard, or the salamander, whatever it is. Okay, iguana. Could be iguana. No, I don't think it's an iguana. A creature. Those things spit anyway. Okay, so anyways, uh, now what I'm going to do... 
They, do, the, do they sneeze? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I have two iguanas. Oh, okay. See, you knew. I did not know that. See, wow. science. Okay. Um, so now what you do is this. Uh, you're going to take your... Okay, guys, five, please. What you're going to do is this. Uh, you're going to take... I would prefer taking a pencil uh, versus taking um, a pen. But for the sake of uh, the viewers watching, uh, we are going to have it be in pen. So you can see it. Uh, now... The goal here is to go slow. I have so many people using stencils and they go so fast because they want to get done so quickly that they don't take their time and they rush it and then the stencil moves. And the main thing is I'm putting a lot of force with my left hand and I'm holding the stencil pretty firmly. I do not want this thing to move. Okay. And then while I'm doing this, I'm really trying to concentrate here, especially when it gets around the tail. Anytime it gets, it's a little bit flimsier around the tail, so I gotta be a little bit more careful, a little bit more gentle as I make my way around. Okay, and if you do mess up, the good thing is you're doing it in pencil. And then after you do it in pencil, you will go over Okay, looks like that. Okay, and you see, I did mess up. Okay, I did mess up uh, right there, um, but because I did it in pen, I can't really erase it. But what I'll do is I'll just darken that one, um, like the example I show you. Now, the question is, I have got to do this, and, and I have to mirror it, okay? But it's gotta look perfect. How am I going to do that, anyone? Ah, fold the paper, well done, okay, now. So I fold the paper, and look at how I'm folding it. I'm actually folding it like this, okay? Watch. Okay, watch. So the next step then uh, is to use a light tape, okay? Now I can actually see the lizard because the light that's coming from the light table, and I've got three uh, light tables. Hey, no, it's smart, not cheating. Uh, and uh, what I do, no, hang on, what I do is I take my uh, stencil, like so, and I line it up with what, what I see um, coming through. Uh, it's not cheating, it's being smart and using the resources properly. Uh, now, if I had windows in this class, which I don't. Um, you do, though. <laughs> yeah, not really, not for the, not to the outside. To the next class. Nice. The outside, you just see like the outside to a wall being pressed up against like, the wall. Like, oh, and I said artwork, dude. Everybody. Okay, so um, the next step, of course, is to try to duplicate what you did. And this is when the second stencil gets a little kind of weird uh, because people have a tendency to rush it. Please don't do that. You've got lots of time on this project and you'll be okay. So while I'm going around the stencil, I know it's kind of like watching paint dry. All right, one minute truth. Okay, that's what it's gonna look like. Now, what you're gonna do is this. You're going to choose to do this side black and then this side would be entangled. Okay, now this, this side is entangled, the iguana or lizard yeah. or salamander is going to be black. Yeah, if this is entangled, this will be black. If this is black, this is going to be entangled. Make sense? Yes. Okay, um, I've got a variety of stencils. Now, if you don't want to use a stencil, okay, you want to have your own. I, I only have a limited amount. Uh, you can print something off, okay? I had people print lions and a seahorse and then or just another horse, uh, you know, like a land horse, okay? Just not to confuse, you know, so you're um, it's a land horse. Yeah, anyways, uh, with that being said, yeah. that's the project in itself, uh, and let's get going.